And, and Jeff, this is their indigenous territory. I mean, this was an endangered species, what, 20 years ago? And we've done a great job of bringing them back. And now they're at a million and a half. And we're in their territory now. What, what should we be doing? Drew, that's exactly the case. 40 years ago, this was a critically endangered species on the brink of extinction. Because of great conservation, they have recovered, and there's millions of alligators now. And also, what you have to think about with regard to Disney World and the park, it consists of many thousands of acres, and only a small portion of that is the park. It is surrounded by pristine, ideal alligator habitat, and these animals naturally come in and out. And I think one needs to assume that if there is a, a body of fresh water in Florida, chances are at some point there's been an alligator in there. Trying to keep a, an alligator out of a fresh, water, uh, fresh body of water in Florida is like trying to keep fleas off a dog. It's, yeah, it's impossible. That's what I understand. They, they just they climb over everything. They get through everything. I'll show a YouTube clip of what appears to be a Disney employee trying to push off an alligator. Just feed away from tourists. There are the... Uh, Splash Mountain Tourist on a right. ride, they appear to be oblivious. Lisa, let's talk from the legal angle. Mm -hmm. If there is a lawsuit, is that video something that's likely to suggest liability? This is a slam dunk for the family, and my heart goes out to them for the loss of their little boy. From a legal standpoint, Disney, which makes billions of dollars every year from families with little children going to their parks, they know there's going to be kids there. There's people from out of town who don't know anything about alligators or about Florida. It's their legal responsibility to put up barriers to protect children. When a child gets taken by an alligator, which is a foreseeable incident, they are responsible. And if it's happened in the past, or if if there have been dangerous incidents in the past with alligators and children, they're looking at a massive uh, punitive damages finding against them. So good luck, Disney, defending this one. But, Bradford, they're, they're, to Lisa's point, there really hasn't been any attacks. In spite of there being thousands that's, of that's alligators, kind of the, John. Yeah. Go ahead. That's kind of the issue, Dr. Drew. Listen, uh, my heart goes out to these people. It was a horrible, horrible thing that happened. Um, but that's what Disney's going to rely on, is the defense that, number one, is this is a natural occurrence, that this there's no way to prevent it, things of that nature. And we didn't know that this was going to happen. It, the last time this happened was 30 years ago. There was a bite. There's no incidents in the past 30 years. And all of a sudden, there's... this happens on this beach. I mean, I, I took my... I used to take my nephew Jordan there all the time. This I, the listen, very same I, I did, me too. I didn't know I, my kids were in that water. My kids were in that Wait water when they were with their little, little three-year-olds. Wait a second. Old. There's no way to prevent it. You can't put up a wall that will divide the alligators well, well, from the two-year-olds who, who can't who can't read a sign. Je well, signs, yes, but Jeff, they, the walls are essentially ineffective, right? These these uh, incre these creatures are incredibly tenacious. They can navigate, negotiate just about any sort of blockade or fence you can put up, and that's the big challenge. And they often find their way into these enclosures as small little alligators. In the natural world, these creatures have so much pressures against them with regard to predators. You know, mom alligator, she's going to have 40 eggs, maybe half will hatch out. The chances are maybe one out of a thousand will actually become an adult. But they shot as tiny little baby gators. You've been down there. You can see how incredibly impenetrable Look, that vegetation is. Look, there's one climbing a fence. There's an alligator doing what they've been doing for 60 million that. years. 